Hello out there to you. In this problem, we're going to figure out what the optimal bundle is to maximize utility for this consumer given a budget constraint. So that's a lot of big econ words. Uh, and so let's uh, walk through some vocabulary that I get asked uh, quite frequently. So uh, the optimal bundle is just asking about the number of units of good X and the number of units of good Y. It's just a typical intermediate micro type problem that we solve. The utility function is this. It tells you how much utility you'll get from x units of or x units of good x and uh, whatever this number of units of good y is. So you could figure this out. Like you could plug in a 10 here, uh, 10 to the one fifth, and then you could say what if I bought five units of good y, it would be five to the uh, four fifths you could do that if you wanted to uh, and then that would tell you what the total utility is the budget constraint gives us this line uh, or budget line which tells you the maximum possible uh, units of good y that you could purchase and the maximum number of units of good x that you could purchase so given that we have a hundred dollars we can write a little formula here and so it looks like this it's income and in, and in some classes by the way income is going to be written as y okay but here i'm going to write it as i so income is going to be price of x times the quantity of x or you could just put big x right there plus price of y times the quantity of y okay now we actually know some of this we know uh, that the income is 100. We know that the price of x is 5. We don't know the quantity of x. We know that the price of good uh, y is 10. And we know, we just don't know the quantity of good y. Okay? So this is where we're at. This is, this is the budget constraint. So this is the budget line. Uh, it's what we, it's all the money that we have, and we need to figure out how to get the most bang for our buck. So the way we do that is we take something called the MRS, which is the marginal rate of substitution, which is the marginal utility of good X divided by the marginal utility of good Y. And so this is really a marginal utility with respect to, or it's partial derivative with respect to good x and the partial derivative with respect to good y. Okay, that's how to do that. Uh, and we need to set that equal to, the MRS needs to be set equal to the, it's really the slope of this, but in just real terms, it's the price of x divided by the price of y. Okay, which we actually know, uh, we know that price of x is 5 and we know that price of y is 10 so this price ratio is 5 over 10 uh, it's 1 half okay so we need to set the MRS equal to 1 half and that's going to uh, give us something that we can substitute into this it'll tell us how many units to produce so the marginal utility with respect to good x from this is, and it's just going to take the partial derivative here, uh, x to the negative 0.8, uh, and then y to the 0.8, and then marginal utility with uh, good y is 0.8, x to the 0.2, y negative 0.2 okay and set all that equal to each other or sorry not equal to each other we set we set the we set this over this okay so uh, rather than rewrite this I'm just gonna sort of use it right here okay so this turns into one fourth I'm gonna send this down to here, that would be x, okay? Because if I send that x to the negative one-fifth down here, it becomes x1. And if I send y to the one-fifth up there, it becomes 
times y, and this is the uh, function. That 1 can just be rewritten as y is 4x. This is the marginal rate of substitution. Okay, so now I set that equal to, uh, so I re rewrite this, so we're going to have y over 4x is equal to 1 half. Okay, cross multiply, I get 2y equals 4x. And now I've got something I can substitute into there, so let's simplify this. y is 2x. Okay, so now over here, going to, let's do this bluish color here. I'm going to set uh, 100, that's the budget, that's how much I can afford. And then uh, 5, I'm going to now write it as just a uppercase x. So qx equals just uppercase x plus 10 times 2x. Okay. So that becomes 20x, 25x, uh, 25x equals 100, divide both sides by 4, and the number of x units in the optimal bundle is uh, 4. 100 over 25 is 4. Now all I have to do is just take this and plug it into there, okay, and I'm going to buy uh, y8. Uh, so this is the right answer. This is the optimal bundle using the tangency method. I will buy four units of good x and eight units of good y, and this maximizes my utility. It's the best bundle that uh, this consumer can get. You could test this by putting it into a spreadsheet. So what you could do is put that function into Excel and then plug in those numbers and see if you get the highest number of utility, you will, uh, that tests it. You could also graph this, and you could graph this, see where they're tangent, uh, and you would you would get uh, something that looks kind of like this. This is eight, this is four, and you'd be done. This is our best indifference curve that we can get out to, and that's how to solve that problem.